Greetings, curious minds. Welcome back to Killer Curiosities, where we journey into the peculiar and unknown. Today, our exploration takes us to the heart of Yellowstone National Park, where the infamous Son of Death resides, a legal anomaly shrouded in mystery and legal peculiarities. Join us as we delve into the enigma of the Zone of Death, exploring its origins, legal implications, and the eerie backdrop of one of America's most iconic national parks. The Zone of Death refers to a legal loophole within Yellowstone National Park where a jurisdictional quirk could potentially allow for the commission of serious crimes without legal consequence. Situated in the tri-state area of Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho, this anomaly stems from complexities in the park's legal framework. The legal quirk arises from the Sixth Amendment, which mandates that federal criminal trials must be conducted by a jury from the state and district where the crime was committed. However, a portion of Yellowstone extends into Idaho, where no federal district court exists, creating a legal vacuum referred to as the Zone of Death. The Zone of Death covers a small but significant portion of Yellowstone National Park, encompassing parts of the Idaho section. This legal anomaly has sparked discussions and debates about the implications of the Sixth Amendment within the unique jurisdictional boundaries of the park. The discovery of the Zone of Death can be traced back to a legal scholar named Brian Colt, who identified the loophole in 2005. Colt's research highlighted the potential consequences of this legal anomaly, bringing attention to the need for legislative action. The legal loophole has raised concerns about the zone of death becoming a haven for criminals seeking to exploit the jurisdictional ambiguity. Some legal experts argue that the potential for a perfect crime within this area could lead to unforeseen consequences and challenges for law enforcement. Despite the identified issue, no legislative measures have been taken to address the zone of death. Efforts to rectify the legal quirk have faced logistical challenges, leaving the situation unresolved and prompting ongoing discussions within legal and legislative circles. The zone of death has garnered public interest and media coverage due to its unusual nature. Articles, documentaries, and discussions have explored the legal implications and potential risks associated with the existing loophole. The existence of the zone of death has spurred ethical debates about the responsibilities of lawmakers and the potential consequences of inaction. Legal scholars continue to discuss the complexities involved in addressing this peculiar legal anomaly. As we conclude our exploration into the mysterious Son of Death within Yellowstone National Park, we find ourselves contemplating the intersection of law, geography, and the unforeseen consequences of legal loopholes. If you've enjoyed this journey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. This is Killer Curiosities, signing off until our next expedition into the realms of the unusual.